You guys, look at the difference here. Like, what? Welcome back to the Clean Beauty Code. Today, I'm very excited because we're talking about skin tints. We're talking about clean beauty skin tints and we're, we got my collection in front of me here and we have some old ones we've talked about um, and also some new ones that we haven't talked about that have been highly requested and I'm really freaking excited to just jump in and do this review for you guys. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. Also leave down below what your favorite skin tint is. And I just kind of want to get into the nitty gritty. So let's jump in and talk about clean beauty skin tints. All right, you guys, I got everything in front of me here. Now, skin tints have really had like a moment. Um, and I really wanted to get this video up because specifically spring and summer, I feel like it's skin tint season. We're all ready to look dewy and cute. We're all ready for a little bit more light coverage, but also like some coverage. We love a little bit of, you know, SPF. If you're that type of person, there's plenty of SPF in these. Um, there's a good variety and I want to just get into it. Let's hit the ones I haven't really talked about on this channel yet because I've gotten a lot of requests to talk about them. So first things first, let's talk about the Westman Altelier foundation stick, which is like truly like a lighter light to light medium coverage stick. Now this is the shade IX, I do not know the Roman numeral, like whatever. So I'm just gonna say IX. And then there's also a shade X and that is more my shade now. This is very, this is more my like winter shade. Um, the coverage of this is definitely light coverage um, when it comes to not, I mean, it depends on the hyperpigmentation marks that you have, like the marks that you have, if they're very dark, you are gonna have a hard time getting the coverage with this one. Um, just because it is definitely, again, light to me, light medium. Like you could get it to like light to medium, but definitely not medium. Um, it is definitely more of a natural finish. Like I like to powder this. This gives your skin the most beautiful, flawless finish. It is so, so gorgeous. I really like this. Um, and I really like the way it wears. It sets really nicely with like a setting spray. It also sets really nicely with powder on top. It wears really nicely with primers underneath. Like, you know, the cover, you know, my favorite primers, if you've watched this channel before, the Cover FX Gripping Primer or the um, LYS Beauty Gripping Primer. This sets really nicely with that. I really enjoy this product a lot. And I think if you, you know, I know this is more expensive. I just want to like preface. I'm aware that this is definitely expensive, but I, I think like if you can or want to spend the money, I definitely don't think that you'll be disappointed in this. It is really nice. So the way I like to use this, where is the brush? Here we go. I like to just stripe this on my face. I'm gonna do up closes of the shade. I like to stripe it on my face and then I like to take this brush. This is my favorite foundation brush of all time ever. This is the It Cosmetics, I never remember the name, Heavenly Lux number seven. And I just blend it out with this and I get just the most flawless, gorgeous, gorgeous finish. All right, next. All right, next let's talk about this one. This is the Milk Makeup Skin Tint and the shade that I wear is medium tan. Now, I have like, I really like the product in it, but I have some questions and concerns about the component. I just, so you pump out the product and there's like this little ball and you would think the ball would roll as you apply it to your face or apply it to the back of your hand and then like take a brush and apply it. It doesn't, it doesn't roll. which is confusing. So at first I was like, I am messing this up somehow, but then no, like I did research and it's like, no, this isn't supposed to roll. So the component itself is really confusing. And I will also say for how much product you get, it's, it is expensive. You only get half an ounce. And I feel like, because it's like one of these push-ups, you don't necessarily get, you're not gonna get all the product out of this. Um, the scent on this is very, very sunscreeny. So if you do not like the scent of sunscreen, this is not gonna be the one for you because she is like, like it lingers for sure. This one doesn't have a scent, the Westman Atelier. It just smells like 
nothing pretty much. Um, this definitely has a scent. This coverage here is definitely more, this is definitely more light, light medium. I wouldn't say fully medium. You can definitely get decent coverage. It definitely goes over pigmentation um, and kind of smooths out the face. This does the same thing. This kind of smooths out the complexion. I really like that you can buy like a replacement cartridge-y thing, not cartridge, because this isn't a printer but like you can replace the product inside, which I do like. I like that that kind of has that, but um, again, the component's a little bit of a pain in the butt for me, but I do really like the product. I like the finish of this. This definitely needs to be set. I will also say I would set this for sure. This is a natural finish. I would say, I would say that this is a little bit more dewy um, and this definitely, definitely needs to be set. This one, if you don't, it's okay, but you will definitely get oily. You will look super oily if you don't do not set this. Um, this ha like this plays well with other products, which is great. It wears really well with primer underneath it. Um, but I prefer kind of this without primer, to be honest. Um, I like this with cream products on top, powder products on top. This is really good. I really like this, um, and I feel like it just it looks really pretty. But again component just like ain't working for me All right next all right next let's go here so this is the kosas um skin tint like the tinted foundation and i'm just shaking it up so i can get like all the pigments this one you need to shake up and the shade i wear in this is, is seven and i would say that that is like a good color for me for the most part year round i'm a little bit tan right now for this but like when I blend it out because it is not like super heavy coverage, it's okay. I really like this. I like the consistency of it. And although it's an oil, it's not like you're not looking like a piece of chicken. Like it's not super greasy. I would say this looks a little bit more oily than this. This kind of settles down um, and has a little bit of dew, but it's not super aggressive. Like I feel like it's more of a little bit of a more natural finish. Um, you can also get more coverage with this one for sure. This is definitely built Buildable medium coverage. I can definitely cover some of my hyperpigmentation with this. It looks really pretty on the skin. This does not play well with all um, primers because it is like super oil based. So the primers I like to use don't necessarily work with this all the time, but this is also the type of product I'm not wearing a primer underneath. This works really well with powder on top of it. Um, if you have dry patches, this clings to dry patches though. So that is just something to note because that is never a good look like when you're just like seeing the dry patch. Um, but this way, like looks great with powder on top. It also looks great, great with cream products on top. It looks really pretty throughout the day. Um, and it wears really, really well. Like it throughout the day, it just wears off gorgeously. Like this is one of the first clean beauty skin tints that I, um, have tr like tried ever and i was really impressed and i really really freaking like this and i highly recommend checking it out and i do think that they've expanded their shade range from when they first launched which is really really nice because we love an expanded shade range we do we do and we need to keep expanding shade ranges and i love to see it okay next all right next i want to talk about the arrive beauty skin tint the shade i wear in this is tan I just want to say like the shade range is not expansive enough. Um, I wear like I'm in the middle. Well, I think there's only five shades um, and I'm in the middle of those. I don't know. I just, the shade range kind of disappoints me, but if you're the type of person that likes her some coverage, this is a good one because I will say this out of a lot of the skin tints has the best coverage. This doesn't have SPF, so if you're the type of person that likes SPF, this might not be the one for you. Um, then like of the ones I've talked about so far, these two would be the one for you. But this is really nice. It blends out really beautifully. It um, is one that I like to use with my fingers or with a brush like this. If I'm just getting ready really quick, I apply it with my hands. I find that the coverage on this is great. It definitely covers my like dark marks. It doesn't cling to dry patches, which is amazing. Um, it has like a dewy finish, but I will just like make sure I set it and then I'm good to go. It plays well with powder. It plays well with primers. It plays well with cream products on top. This is a really, 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 really nice skin tint. And I really just hope that they expand the shade range because at this point it's just kind of like, 
Listen, five shade ranges is not like shade ranges. <laughs> Shades is not enough because everyone has different undertones. And that's kind of the problem I have with this. This is definitely way too yellow for me. Um, I would want something a little bit more neutral. And I just feel like not having a neutral, especially in like the tan category is a little bit of a miss. But besides that, it's beautiful. It looks gorgeous. All of these so far photographed beautifully. They. Um, are really great and I really really like this and in terms of coverage these two have the most coverage of the ones I've spoken about so far this one though has the most coverage of all of them and I really do like it and I think if you are someone that has hyperpigmentation if you can find a shade that works with your complexion this is a really good one all right next I want to talk about the Ilia skin tint here I have two shades okay whoever is at the lab for this specific product at Ilia, because I have another Ilia foundation in front of me here that I have a different opinion of, but whoever came up with this shade range, I have questions because when it, when it was just the original shade range, like without the in-between colors, it, it was so hard for like, I think a lot of people, I read a lot of reviews of people having a really hard time finding a match, but for the middle shades, like for your girl and like a little bit more dark and a little bit lighter, it just like, there's there's like no good option. And then when they came out that with the half shades, I got a half shade, I'm gonna swatch them side by side. I don't understand how this is an in-between, okay? So I'm gonna show you, this is shade, 13 um and this is definitely very orange and very warm okay i'm gonna do close-ups of this and this is 12.75 okay 12.75 there's like a 12.5 i think and 12.75 and i don't think there's a 12.25 but i could be wrong but i the 12.5 like absolutely no way could i wear that and then this is <laughs> and then this is 12.75 you guys look at the difference here like what how are these like in between these like the, there's no in between like there's these are two different people in very different spectrums like no one in no way and this is kind of the shade like range that i would be in in terms of deepness but in terms of sh like undertone absolutely not like doesn't work at all but but I digress besides the shade range. If I mix these two together, I can kind of get something that works for me, but one is super, super warm and one is like olive, but also like kind of neutral, but also a little yellow. Like it's very strange, but if I mix them together, I can kind of get something that works for me, but I just really like, I really like this product. So it kind of irritated me, but this is an SPF 40 skin tint. This is out of all of them, the lightest coverage of anyone I'm talking about today. It is very dewy. This definitely needs to be set. Um, I don't love this with primer, the primers that I like underneath it, like the gripping primers from Cover FX and LYS Beauty. I don't love how these play together, but this works really well with cream products on top. And it also works really well with powdered products on top, which I really, really enjoy. I like the coverage of this. This is a great like everyday product. I love that it has SPF 40 in it. It photographs really pretty. There isn't like weird flashback. Um, and I don't find that it oxidizes like crazy at all. I actually find with a lot of these that they don't oxidize like crazy this one ever so slightly but not really and this one doesn't oxidize for me um these are really nice the coverage it just gives you like such a pretty finish to the skin it is so easy to blend out with your fingers my preference with this is to blend it out with my fingers but you can use um a brush i don't love a like a beauty sponge with this as much it it works fine but like my preference is just to use my hands this is a really good product i like it again it's just I'm having a hard time with the shade range, but I have another Ilia product that I'm gonna talk about next that I have a shade match in, so I'm shocked that like I don't have a shade match in this. All right, next let's talk about the Ilia Serum Foundation because I wanna talk about my shade matches in this um, because I know a lot of people wanna know my shade matches in products. So my true, true, like really, really good match for myself foundation shade is the shade Maraca in this. Um, and this is this one. I wore this on my wedding day. I really like the finish of this. I like how it wears throughout the day. It is medium coverage, which is what I wanted. I don't like super full coverage. It just 
just it just kind of looks crazy on me um and i feel like for my wedding i liked the coverage of this it set really beautifully it looked great with powder on top it wears beautifully with um primer underneath for my wedding day i did wear the cover fx primer underneath this and loved it just a side note, I am going to do an entire wedding look using Clean Beauty products um, either this week or next week, so that's coming, but I really, really like this. The other shade I have in this is Bondaire, um, and I kind of, right now, I'm a little bit in between. I use mostly this and then a little bit of this and mix these together. All right, next I want to talk about the Mara Beauty Foundation Sticks. So the true foundation shade for me in this is the shade Buff, um, and then like my highlighter under the eye shade is the shade Sand. Now I got Sand, although it's like ever so slightly a little bit too bright um once i like kind of it settles and i do the rest of my makeup it's totally fine i really liked the like neutral undertone of this and it kind of works for me year round um i really like this on the face i stripe it on my face and i blend it out with this um in comparison here this has more coverage than this one but i will say i think this is a better bang for your buck than this one i said what i said you get very little product in this, but I do really like it um, a lot. It's just like, I, it's it feels like price-wise, you're like, oh, this is way more expensive. But then when you actually look at how much product you get, this is kind of a better deal. But this is a really good product. I have two of these because I like to wear under my eyes best, but this is a great skin tint for the face. Um, Buff is a gorgeous color for my face. I love to wear it under the eyes. It does increase. Like if you have like marks or like fine lines around your eyes, on your forehead, wherever, it is this doesn't like sink into fine lines i don't really know how this works but it's super super good um and i like the finish of it it's like natural but it's not super dewy it looks really really seamless on the skin it's really really pretty and under the eyes like oh my god it's my favorite like i have two of these because these are now my concealers like my, the concealer that I love is the Cover FX um, Power Play Concealer. And I know for a lot of you like watching this, a lot of you, that's one of your favorite concealers. But this is like a really, really amazing concealer and I've been using it nonstop. Um, but I also really like it as a skin tint. I just prefer something a little different um, all the time, like th for every day. But this also covers my hyperpigmentation decently well. Um, it's not a hundred, like my hyperpigmentation when I get it is super, super dark. And I feel like sometimes it doesn't come across as dark on the camera as it is in person, but it's very, very dark. And this does an incredible job at covering it. Huge fan. Okay, next. All right, let's, all right, let's do the Save You um, Slipcover Skin Tint next. Um, I love these. Now the shade I wear right now is six. I'm only wearing six. I'm not mixing five in with it. This is a really, really good match for me. Um, it's ever so slightly dark, but I feel like with the warmth that my skin has right now, this is a really, really good warm skin tint. This also has SPF in it. This is a really good alternative to Laura Mercier, um, like tinted moisturizer. So if you're a fan of that product, then you'll probably like this, except unlike the Laura Mercier, this does not oxidize, which is amazing. The Laura Mercier really, she comes in oxidizing, like she can oxidize a ton. This doesn't really do that. I love this, I love the finish. This wears beautifully with everything. Like this is such a good product. I have a huge review on this, so I don't wanna like talk about it too much, but this is incredible. I'm freaking obsessed with it. And I would say, I'm gonna rank my favorites at the end, but these are really good. And the shades I own in this are five, which is my winter shade and six. And then like my in-between Z of like getting a tan and not is like I mix these two together. Really, really good. All right, next. All right, last I wanna talk about the LYS Beauty um, Foundation just because this is definitely more medium coverage, um, but it blends out beautifully with your fingers. It um, wears beautifully with a brush like it blends out really nicely with a brush this is really really pretty the shade i wear on this is tn6 and i would say this is a really good match for me right now it blends out beautifully i, I have a whole lysb review on this so i'm not going to like deep dive too much but the finish of this is gorgeous it plays really well with other products it looks gorgeous with powder on top you definitely need to set this like this is definitely on the oilier not oilier side but dewier side um but once it's set like it looks gorgeous i really really like this okay so i kind of want to just 
rank and, or not rank, but I'm gonna put these in categories because I know some are more foundation, some are more cream, some are stick, and some are more very liquid. So I wanna like hit that and say like, what is my favorite out of those categories? All right, so let's talk about this category here, which is more of the creams. Um, in terms of favorite for me personally, I like to say Beauty One the best. I like that it has SPF. And although it doesn't have as much coverage as this one, um, I feel like because it has SPF and it doesn't have flat, like it doesn't oxidize, it doesn't have flashback. This is a little bit more superior. However, this is such good coverage. If you're like a, you want coverage, you need coverage. This is the way to go for sure. Um, again, SPF, you go here. If I have to pick between SPFs, I'm going here. Um, this is still really beautiful. I love how this wears, but this is a little almost like too dewy for me. Um, and I, I feel like I'm very much more greasy throughout the day when I'm wearing this. The scent also in this isn't my favorite. So if we go here again, this etches this out ever so slightly. Um, the shade range here really does need work, but this is great and I really, really like it. Okay, let's do sticks next. Sticks. Okay, for all over the face, this is my favorite. I think this is a better bang for your buck as well. Under the eyes, this is my favorite. Westman says that you can wear this under the eyes. I just feel like it creases too much and it isn't my favorite under the eyes, but all over the face, the finish of this is gorgeous. All over the face, the finish of this is great, but I prefer this more as like a, to cover the dark marks as opposed to all over the face if I'm like comparing and contrasting these two. All right, in terms of foundations. Foundations here, um, I actually don't have a favorite. I think that they definitely do different things. This is a thinner consistency than this one. Um, and I feel like this is ever, more, this is ever more, this is dewier than this one. So if I'm going to a vent, I'm going here, but this is gorgeous. And the shade range here is better than this one. So they're kind of like side by side comparison, like similar, they're just a little bit different, right? Like this is more every day, I would say. Um, for me personally, I like the shade range here a lot more than this. This definitely needs a shade range improvement improvement, but I have a really good shade match here for like year round. Um, this is a little less dewy than this one. Like I definitely get like, would get by the end of like, let's say my wedding day as an example, like I would have been very greasy by the end of the day wearing this, whereas with this one, I wasn't. Um, but these are really, really good. And then lastly, let's hit lastly here. I would say here there's definitely, um, it, it's just a preference thing, right? If you want more coverage, you go here. Um, you want SPF, you go here. Um, you want something that doesn't cling to dry patches, you go here. You want maybe a little bit of a superior, I mean, everyone's skin, like shade, skin shade, everyone's complexion is different, right? So like you might have like a perfect match in this, but if you're my complexion, I think that this has a superior shade range. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this Clean Beauty skin tint kind of rundown. I would love to know what is your favorite skin tint. Please leave that down below. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.